guys welcome back to my channel i've got another weekly grocery haul for you guys today today we went to aldi and i got some things for summer so i spent a little bit more than i usually have been spending but i still think i did pretty good so leave your guess in the comments down below if you want to guess how much i spent today i will show you guys the receipt at the end i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that meal plan for the week and then we will get into the haul Okay, here is our meal plan for the week. This is running from April 23rd to April 29th. We've got cod piccata, and that is from Jen Chapin's cookbook. She actually sent me a copy of it, so I'm really excited to try some recipes from that. We're gonna do that with some broccoli and some garlic parmesan orzo. Then we're gonna do some buffalo chicken quesadillas with either salad or fresh veggies, spaghetti, pork sandwiches and potato wedges, buffalo chicken mac and cheese, when I do the quesadillas, I'm going to make a bunch of buffalo chicken in the crock pot. And then we'll use the leftovers for the mac and cheese. And then I found this recipe for Italian enchiladas in one of my cookbooks. And I had some corn tortillas left over from when we did regular enchiladas the other week. So I thought we would use them up for that recipe. It sounds good. And then steak burrito bowls and cilantro lime rice. And that's what we're looking like we have on hand for snacks. And then dessert. There's going to be a cereal video coming up in a couple weeks, like different ways to use cereal. That's a collab. And I'm going to be making some triple tier brownies as one of the recipes that I am sharing. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so here is everything that we got from Aldi. As I said, I got a lot and I got some non-food items. I will start over here with these items and then move over there before this falls. This is a new umbrella for our table on the patio. Mine unfortunately got broke. It's like two or three years old and it's a little bit of a different color blue, but I think that this will be fine. It says it's nine foot. Um, some people who bought some ones last year said it had good reviews and they really liked theirs. So I'm happy to have this and I'm going to make sure I put it down when it's not in use so that one of the little arms doesn't get broken again. And I can't remember, did I say? This was $30. So that was a lot of my total. Then I got some freezer bags and some um, gardening gloves and these you can actually use with your phone. I thought they were cute. I just have a pair from Dollar Tree that really aren't good quality and so I picked these up to use in the yard and that's the three things that I got that were not food. Now I'm gonna put this umbrella somewhere so it doesn't fall. Okay back over here we've got some meat. I picked up a pack of boneless skinless chicken breasts. This was four and a half pounds and it was $8.50. Then I got a thing of Alaskan cod. I really didn't even look at the price on this to be honest. I'm just now realizing that. I don't know how, any idea how much this cost. But I needed it for a recipe. That recipe from Jen Chapin. The cod piccata. So this was I think the only option they had for cod. So this is what I picked up. Two pounds. Got some pork sausage to make Andy's breakfast burritos. This is new. They changed like the packaging on all of their like Aldi brand coffee creamers, but I don't think I've ever seen the caramel macchiato in there. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe mine has just always been sold out, but caramel macchiato sounded really good. So this is what I got for my coffee creamer this week. And I still have some French vanilla in the fridge if Andy wants coffee. I got one gallon of milk because we still have about a gallon and a half in the fridge because we don't drink it as much anymore. And then these frozen potato products are things that Aldi doesn't carry all the time. And I've tried them both previously and they are really good. If I had more room in my freezer, I would probably get more bags of both. We got the crispy circles. So, you know, these are great for breakfast and even with dinners and stuff. Love crispy circles. And then the spiral cut fries. So these are like Arby's fries. And um, those are really good as well. The kids wanted some ice cream, so they picked this Moose Tracks. It says it's vanilla ice cream with peanut butter cups and famous Moose Tracks fudge. And then I got another thank you cherry much for myself. Got two things of mozzarella, two things of sharp cheddar, and some ricotta cheese, and some cream cheese, Parmesan cheese, lots and lots of cheese, two cans of black beans, the pineapple is still from last week. We have not cut that open yet. 
So if you watch my grocery hauls, you know, I don't buy the exact same things every single week. I buy what's on sale, I buy what we want, and then I kind of meal plan based on what we have, but I still need to shop every week to pick up some things. But some things do last more than the one week that I go shopping. I picked up the Carolina barbecue sauce this time. This one is light and tangy. I think this is like a mustard based sauce. So I decided to try this one. I do typically like mustard based sauces. So I thought that this would be good. Got some cream cheese frosting for a recipe. Got some eggs. We still have some in the fridge, but I'm going to be making breakfast burritos and that will use like an entire dozen of eggs. Got some more marinara sauce. I tried that one that's supposed to be similar to the Rayos, but honestly, we like this one way better. So we will stick with this one. And then this is new to me, the Simply Tuscan Garden dressing. Um, this is not with the regular dressings. This is like a limited buy. Um, and some people said that they had it before. And there was three different flavors. I think there was this one, an olive oil and vinegar, and then like an apple cider vinegar one. I decided to try the ranch. It's supposed to be simple ingredients, big taste. So some people said this was good. I'm excited to try it. And then I also got some ranch dressing packets. My favorite trail mix currently, the almonds, peanut butter cups, and cherries with cashews. It is so good. And that is just for me. Got some vegetable oil because we are out. Two more things of my blueberry wine. Every time, like the last two weeks when I bought just one bottle, I'm like, man, I should have bought another one. It is that good and I absolutely love it. So I got two bottles this time. Grapes, the kids are loving grapes. Lily went through a thing where she was like, I don't like grapes, I don't like grapes. But what I did was I put them on these little skewers that I have. I will leave these linked in my Amazon shop down below. You put like four grapes on a skewer and then she'll eat every single grape and ask for more. So when your kids don't want to eat their food, just, you know, use little food picks and they'll eat basically anything. I got some onion soup mix, some fudge brownie mix, also for a recipe. Got some radishes, some lemons, onions. We didn't need a lot for produce this week because we still have some from last week. Got some broccoli, cucumbers, and limes. Got more of these pub style pretzels. They're very, very good. We really all like them. And so we will definitely keep buying them. They're like $1.89, I think I said last week. So a great price for some like seasoned pretzels. Got some restaurant style tortilla chips, some crispy rice. So basically rice krispies. The kids and Andy will not be eating this by itself because they are picky about Rice Krispies. This is specifically for a recipe, which I think they won't notice in the recipe. So we'll see. And then I got some cocoa peanut butter puffs. I wanted like generic peanut butter Captain Crunch, but instead I got basically generic Reese's puffs, which I think will be fine in the recipe that I'm gonna make just adds a little bit of chocolate flavor to it as well. I think it'll be good. And then we've got some tortillas for Andy's breakfast burritos, another Italian bread to throw in the freezer for garlic bread, some honey wheat bread, some Kaiser buns. I wanted brioche buns, but they didn't have any, so we got these instead. And then we got a pizza. This was a dollar off, so it was like four dollars. And this is actually going to be our lunch. Right when I get done filming this, I'm gonna pop this in the oven and that will be our lunch. And then I already showed you the Ziploc bags, but we got Andy's cola. And that is everything from Aldi this week. Here's my receipt. I spent $140.92. As I said, that umbrella was like 30 bucks. So that's a good chunk of that. Brings it down to around 110 um, for just the food items. And that is going to be it for my haul this week. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave me a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.